Apparently your ship is not known for running out of power at any given moment. So turns out you do, in fact, plug him in. Thank you for plugging me into the Roomba char charging station. You're very welcome. <laughs> Beep boop. That's uh, I'm putting that Beep on boop. for me. Uh, that's one. Wait. He's got two horses. Oh wait, we said earlier you couldn't we said earlier you couldn't just pull unplug androids into a void crystal system. Clearly you're gonna have to jig, jury rig something up oh, to plug okay. him in. Okay. Beep boop. After, if you will. Does not compute. Okay. Beep boop. Damn. Okay. So And we just found out the horses have nothing to do with your plan. So <laughs> He just wanted horses. I can I can make them work, okay? Um well, why we killed all those Amish for nothing? No, you did. No, they're not dead. They're yeah. suffering. I did. Oh, no, they're dead. With all that <laughs> fire and their legs, they're dead. I think the only one that we know is dead for sure is the poor little old lady. She deserved it. She was the ringleader. No, no, no. They're all down there dismembering and burning. You're you're probably guilty. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I didn't do anything. So, I just stole a horse. On the upside, them from a on the upside because time's going backwards here, none of them are going to be able to contact the consortium to complain about your behavior. Well, it's not like they don't expect this from us at this point, you know what I mean? Okay. All right. Jim, go get on one of the, the medical beds. Clean yourself up. Um, you took one for a team on Friday. Cosmic, grab the horses. Follow me and Zone down to the engine room. I have an idea. And as I'm going down, I grab one of the industrial... Uh, um, ex extension plugs that I can plug into um, zone, and we go down it, to the is engine it room. Two forty or one twenty volt? No, it's like it's like a it's like a ten eighty p. Thousand volt. Ten eighty p. Ten eighty p. Okay. The electric cord is measured in resolution. Yes. Well, yeah, it's an Android. This is the future. All right. So you you you've got your supplies. You've got the know how. And you're going to jury rig something. Tell us your plan. Okay. So, me being the engineer, I know that there's plenty of room in one of the storage areas. So, I'm going to set up a contraption um, that a horse with, treadmill with friction that will set that will um, gather enough ampules to recharge our android. You're making a horse treadmill. Yes. And I, I just look over at their engineer. Hey, brilliant engineer. Why don't we just plug him to the ship? Because it doesn't work that way. Um, if our, you our... plug him into the ship, he'll get he'll get what Captain Darcy has. Space gonorrhea. No, that's different from now because he hasn't slept with the captain yet. <laughs> I'm not like the rest of the crew. That would be illogical. <laughs> He is, in fact, the last entity on this ship to have not slept with the captain yet. Beep boop. Turns out the horse has already slept with the captain. Don't ask how that works. <laughs> what? There's a whole cutaway scene while you were dealing with the Amish kicking the guy. The horse has got corn The captain somehow got out of the pod, slept with the horse, and got back in the pod. Don't question it. That's our captain. And you might say, how did the captain get out of the pod if he couldn't leave it? Well, you see, he's got fourth dimensional space gonorrhea. He can now be in two places at once. That's part of his problem. Horses came to him. Giggity. Oh, they came on him. <laughs> giggity, giggity, giggity. So, you guys need to plug me in because I'm getting low power mode. All right. So roll your 3D6 to see if you can build a horse treadmill. Come on, engineer. Show us you can engineer. Five, five, and one. I hit my oh, You can ask a question. Think fast. Is this time reversal happening throughout the galaxy or just in the galaxy space that we're in? If you track it carefully with telemetry, you might be able to figure out the origin source of the distortion and where it's spreading out from, leading you to where the pirates are shoving crystals up their ass. Maybe we can reverse polarity that shit. <laughs> well, no, now I know. Okay. I have to pull it out of their ass. You build the Horse Runner 5000. This super horse treadmill is so energy efficient as it collects energy from the horse that not only 
does it power up the android, but you're able to siphon off so much extra energy from that horse chasing that carrot. I am feeling better. That you have enough extra energy to power the warp drives now without flaring up the captain's hemorrhoid. Nice. <laughs> I should have just flared it up to begin with. Always you, can now, yeah. you, can now, you can now warp somewhere on horsepower, so to speak. That's badass. Uh-huh. Two horsepower. Yes. You need fossil fuel when you just take from the Amish. You know, we could have took the Amish people themselves and made them dance for our power. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that was good. Too yeah, bad they're be- all kind of um, dead now. Yeah. As you now know, as from Scotty's re- deduction... If you track the spread of the time rollback, you can find where the space pirates are shoving void crystals up their ass to turn Super Saiyan. Can I use uh, science to try and figure out a way to change, like, fix that? To avoid the void crystal? Yeah. (laughs) You can, in fact, now that you're powered up, begin researching how you're going to unfuck the crystal. Okay, what do I have to roll? A five and a three. And my number was... You get a, your number is a four. Yeah. You get a partial success. Okay. As you sit down at the computer, tapping furiously away over various schematics, you become <laughs> convinced that... You may, in fact, be able to reverse the warp core's polarity and run it through the shattered remains of the crystals if you can pull it from the space pirate's ass and possibly use that to reassemble the crystals. That said, before you can reassemble the shattered crystal in their ass, you're going to have to find a way to get it out of their ass and might I remind you they've gone Super Saiyan and can breathe space. Is there a possibility we can beam it directly from their ass? Not at see... long distances. You would have to first at least find them. You're going to have to figure out how to get to where they yes. are yes. using the distortion. Okay. Now, can I use science to find them? Yes. I using got... Scotty's theory, roll a 3d6. All right. Slash roll. I'll try this again. I got you. Okay. Uh, six, five, five. Wow. Jeez, uh, or Grizzly, you're no longer rolling? <laughs> Unfortunately, as you What's furiously type away at the computer, the android does not solve anything, instead comes down with fourth dimensional space gonorrhea. Ah, blue screen of death! Blue screen of death! <laughs> you are now... Teleporting randomly around the ship rapidly in a manner that dizzifies you and makes you want to throw up. But what? because you're teleporting, you are simultaneously throwing up in every room in the ship at what? once. Can uh, with my engineering, can I um, jump onto the panel that he was at, figure out what he did wrong, and fix it? Science has failed me. <laughs> You may, in fact, finish the calculations. Unfortunately, he plugged into the ship's warp core like he was trying to with his calculation. But you may, in fact, jump on the ship and try to finish the math he was doing. You might even be able to fix it. Engineer? Is that going to be a 2d6 or a 3? Well, a 1d6. This is a panic moment as he's teleporting all around, throwing up everywhere. No, oh, stop. I don't even have interior organs, but I don't know how this is happening. I got a four. You manage to sever his connection to the captain through the warp core. But in but in order to do so, you had to delete all the work he was doing on telemetry, figuring out where the space pirate home world is. Okay. The android finally stops teleporting around and vomiting. The time reversal is starting to affect your ship. Oh, God. Your hyper-advanced computer has suddenly become an Apple II. If you don't hurry, you're never going to be able to calculate how to get anywhere at this rate. Also, the person whose phaser previously turned into a revolver 
It's now a musket. Well, one shot. Cosmic, <laughs> right. I've got an idea. I want you to I go down to. Else. I want you to double the carrots for the horses, and um, let me jump on this apple real quick and uh, get us the fuck out of here. You okay. try to appeal to the horse's stomach to gain more power. This is a feelings idea. Okay, so roll for your feelings, I guess. First, Who's doing it? First, one helping him, roll, make your feelings roll and see if you can help him. Can somebody roll for me? It's not. What Grizz? Was that a good feel? Yeah, that's a good. That's always a good feelings roll. That's so together, great. the two of you, with various carrots, apples, and whatnot, run towards the horses. Roll your two d six, Grizzly. That's four and a three. Four and a three. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, bitch. You find out that the horses have already overeaten and are now sleeping it off. No wonder the computer system switched back to warp core technology, which temporarily fried out the android. The horses had ta have taken a siesta for the night. Is there any way we can get on it? Yes, yes oh, you God. may. <laughs> I can't, I'm the engineer. Yeah, I'll get on. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, we all know Scotty's fat around the waist. <laughs> It'll kill him. You know what? I will do it. It is only logical. All right, Android, I want you to roll a two d six because not only is this your plan, but as a okay, I think machine, it works. You can run like a machine. Four and a three. One of them is my number. Yes, and they're both under, so you get to ask a question. What is the best way to do this uh, and get the most power? Well, your recent escapade with the river dancing mafia reminds you that everyone knows the best workout running workouts have to be set to a 80s musical montage and filmed from various angles while inspirational power metal play. Oh, I got that this. Will you, that will give you the best result. I got this. What's our next our next uh, movement here? What do we do? What do we do? The ship now has power again. And thankfully, just in the neck of time, you managed to take off and warp to another place, getting you outside of the distortion field. But you still haven't figured out where the center of the field is. But you now have computers that won't need to run a warp techno on the old crystals, which will connect you to the captain. Because you have the Android running. Literally. Only if you can figure out how to figure out where the center of that distortion was. So, so in this case, Android beats Apple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Android beats Apple. Oh, God. I love it. Android beats Apple. Fast.